Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this lesson, we're going to start talking about GST, which stands for Goods and Services Tax. So GST is just another tax that you have to pay to the government, this time when you buy stuff. So if you buy something such as a computer or a car or a bike, or you hire someone to complete some sort of service, for example, if you hire a plumber to do something at your house, you're the one who has to pay the GST, which is very unfortunate. Now the GST is 10% of the purchase price. So however much that they're trying to sell you the thing for, you're going to add on 10% of that and that's how much you have to pay. So for example, a computer costs $1,500 without GST. So GST has not been added on. Now, when you buy this computer, what happens is you have to add 10% to it. So the slow way is you can go 1,500 times 0.1 and that way you can work out what the GST equals. So the GST will be equal to $150. And then you add that on. So price including the GST will be $1,500 plus the $150 of GST. And that will be $1,650. And that's the money that you have to pay to the to the shop. And what happens is the shop takes your money and then the shop passes the $150 onto the government. So let's do another example. Now this is a real life example. It actually literally just happened to me a few weeks ago. A plumber charges you $400 excluding GST. Now, the plumber actually told me the price excluding GST. So they didn't tell me um, initially that the price was excluding GST. I had to find out later. So how much do you actually have to pay the plumber including GST? Now, you would go 400 times 0 0.1 and you'll work out that it's $40 and you'd go 400 plus 40 which is $440 is the price including GST and that's how much you have to pay the plumber. Now here is a quicker way of doing that instead of going 400 times 0 0.1 equals 40 400 plus 40 method two so a slightly quicker method you can think of this one as method one a bit slower the quicker way is just going 400 times 1.1 and then you'll get 440 dollars so you can speed it up now why is it 1.1 because when you multiply by 0 0.1 you get 40 dollars if you multiply 400 by 1, you get $400. So when you multiply 400 by 1.1, that includes the 1, which includes the 400. So when you times it by 1.1, the 440, the 40 gets added, uh, gets included in the 400 or added to the 400. So it'll be 440. You can also think of it as a percentage. So 0 0.1 is the same thing as 10%. 1 is the same thing as 100%. 1.1 is 110%. So when you multiply by a percentage, when you multiply by 0 0.1, you're finding 10%. When you're multiplying by 1, you're finding 100%. When you're multiplying by 1.1, you're finding 110%. So then you're including the 40. So that's method two. Um, so yeah, just one more with method two. So 
A pair of shoes cost $80 excluding GST. Find the sale price of the shoe including GST. So again, you'd go 80 times 1.1, which is $88 including GST and that is how much you have to pay as the customer okay so let's do it backwards let's say a laptop costs um, $1,200 including GST find the pre-tax price so what we're doing is we already know the price including GST what was it before GST was added on so let's use a bit of algebra for that so let X be the pre-tax price or pre-GST price or um, the excluding GST price, however you want to say it. X, whatever that number is, times 1.1, which we discussed previously, you times by 1.1 to get the inclusive GST price, which is 1,200. So how would you get X? Well, you have to go backwards, wouldn't you? You have to go 1,200 reverse the multiplication so divide by 1.1 and you will get $1,090.91 rounded to two decimal places so um, let's do another one so let's do a phone costs 800 including GST uh, find the price find the excluding G uh, find the pre GST price same thing really so you just go 800 I'll do it yourself first and then come back to check the answer so it's just 800 divided by 1.1 and the answer is 800 divided by 1.1. The answer is 727.27 to DP. Now, what you don't want to do, do not do this. Okay, what you don't want to do is find 10% of 800 and then take it off because as you can see you get the wrong answer okay because when you want to find the pre GST price you can't just take off 10% of the inclusive GST price that's not how the maths works so do not do this okay make sure you just divide it by 1.1 Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.